How far have you gone for beauty? You mean cosmetics? Yes. Have you had any cosmetic procedures? Got my boobs done like twice. I got a tummy tuck, a BBL. I got veneers. <laughs> That's it. And when it comes to these procedures, do they get, as far as names, anything more specific than what you just mentioned? Like, for example, with the breast, was it just a breast augmentation you had twice or was it called something in particular, for example? Uh, breast lift, breast augmentation. At first I did the breast lift, then I did the augmentation and the doctor put those huge, humongous silicones. But I think I'm about to take them off. I'm tired, I'm over it. I just want them to go back flat. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I just want them flat. I'm tired of seeing this. Now, do you remember the order in which you got these procedures done in your life, starting with the very first procedure? I did a tummy tuck first. Uh, then I did my breast, I did the lift, and then I did the, shit. BBL veneers augmentation. <laughs> then I did the BBL, then I did the breast again, the augmentation with the veneers. And do you remember what age this was in your life when you got the very first procedure done, the tummy tuck? So I did that first procedure in 2017. So y'all figure it out. You were over 21 at the time or? Of course, yeah. Now reflecting back on how everything panned out, did you get any of these procedures at the right ages in your life? Yes, of course. Didn't know if there were some you wish you would have done sooner no. in age, later in age? No. I got them at the right time. After I had my three boys, I was ready to take care of myself. So just for even more uh, clarity there, that tummy tuck was after the three boys? Yes. Now, physically, have you fully recovered from all these procedures in your life? Yes, I have. I have no pain. Absolutely um, no issues. Just the breast is too much for me. I think it's giving me back pain, but I, I'm fully recovered. It's not like the breast is, itself is hurting me. It's just a little bit of back pain that I get because I feel like they're just a little too big. But with the previous procedures other than that one. Everything is fine. No complications. No complications. Fully recovered, no pain, absolutely none when it comes to the um, procedures. Nothing botched? N no, nothing. I'm able to wear my bikini. I'm able to open up in front of my girlfriend without any issues or insecurities. Now, there's a debate on getting cosmetic procedures inside versus outside the United States. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand on that debate at this point? <laughs> well, I feel like going out of state or out of the country, not out of state, my bad, going out of the country is very risky and you have to be very, very, <laughs> I would say, it's risky. Going out of the country is risky, extremely risky. And you gotta inform on who you going to because it could get real scary when it comes to going out of, out of the country. Now, when it comes to your history of body work, 
Has all this been done in the States for you or anything outside of the United States? I had something done outside of the United States. I did. Care to share which procedure? Uh, <laughs> I did the BBL outside of the country and it was painful. Now, care to share any of the names of the doctors you used for any of these procedures in the past? Um, I didn't get paid for them. And I didn't get a free surgery, so I'm not going to promote anybody here. <laughs> and speaking of that, what is your opinion on that? Doctors offering free services for promo. Well, it's an exchange of services. It's a business deal. I think that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. If you respect your end of the deal, I respect my end of the deal, then it's a great business, period. Have you been offered services of that nature for promo in the past? Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, I take that back. Dr. Crow did my breasts. Now, when it comes to your body work, did you share any of these, excuse me, did you share this journey of any of your body work on social media? Were you that open about it? Yes, with my breasts, yes I did. I shared it with all my fans when I was um, at the cosmetic surgery center I shared even after I was I updated my fans about my um, boobs and everything. And what platforms did you share that on in the past? It was on Facebook and YouTube. And for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share any of those screen names or channel names or usernames? Yeah, my Facebook name is Florence L. Luce. My YouTube is Florence Eluche, and my Instagram is Florence Dure. You can follow me there. Now, what's the public reaction you've received from strangers in real life to your cosmetic procedures? Oh, you, um, you doing all that for a man, and he's still gonna cheat, or he's still gonna leave you? Oh, it's all for a man? No! I did all that for myself. That's something that I wanted myself. My man never asked me to do that. Anything that you're getting done, you have to do it for you. It's not about insecure. It's not about this the same way. Why do you wear wigs? Because you won't. Why do you wear makeup? Because you won't. You want to enhance your beauty. The same way guys cut their hairs. We go to the salon and get our hair done because we want to enhance our beauty. Why do you perm your hair? So everybody have their own choices. And I did it for myself. That's it. Now, do you feel like you've received more opportunities or been more successful in your career since these procedures? I'm a businesswoman, honestly. I don't think people that's truly doing business with you are gonna look at your figure. It's what's up here. It's the knowledge that you have. If I get into business with someone, it's because they know that, that I'm capable of. It's not because I look good. I'm not a dancer, I'm not, Y'all already understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, now reflecting on all these procedures here for this next set of questions, and we're winding down here on this topic, but what did this entire experience teach you? What did you learn from all these procedures, from all this body work in your past? What did I learn? I learned that it's okay to look good for yourself. It's okay to make yourself happy. You can afford it, get it done. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't let other people tell you otherwise. It's a choice that you have to make within yourself. That's it. And speaking of affording, how much did all this body work cost back in those days? Overall, I think I've spent approximately about 100K was spending that amount of money 
worth it? Yes, I'm happy. And I'm about to spend more. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different with any of your cosmetic procedures? My boobs. I would have done them smaller. Care to share what your original size was? It used to be a 34C. Now I'm like a 36 double, I'm triple D. <laughs> Yeah. And was that the advice of the doctor? Was that your own personal size that you wanted to go for at the time? How did you come about with that final size there? I've always loved big breasts. I used to look at the breasts online and I'm like, doctor, I want my breasts to look like this. And he's like, if you want your breasts to look like this, then you're going to have to go bigger. And I was like, okay, I just want my breasts to look like that. Then I got it done, then it's too much for me. What size should you have gone with if you could go back in time and have that done again? We had um, 800 cc. That's way too big. Because I'm a beautiful black woman and I have a lot of breast tissue. So mind you, I got the breast tissue plus that 800. I'm probably at 1,000 right now. So... I think I should have went with like a 450. So with my own breast tissue would have made it 600. Nah, I think I should have went with like a 300 cc. Yeah. Now, there are females listening to this, watching this, that are in a similar predicament. They want to make sure they choose the right size for their right. breast augmentation. Uh, any insight on that? Girl, if you don't want a big breast, don't choose that 800 cc. Go for something smaller because us being black, we have a lot of breast tissue. So you have to consider that. So if you want a nice little cutie up here, you really need to choose a smaller CC when it comes to silicone implants. Now, was the doctor in your scenario just with whatever you wanted, whatever your wish was, or was he trying to recommend you to go a little bit smaller? Like, was he, did he say anything like, maybe that's a little too big, you don't wanna regret that decision, or he was just with whatever you wanted? Honestly, he did advise me to go with a bigger CC because he said if I didn't really want them to sag, I have to have a bigger CC to keep the roundness shape that I was looking for. Now, what did you wish you knew before you got any of these cosmetic procedures in your life? If anything. What did I wish I knew? Yes, is there anything someone should have told you? Hey. The pain tolerance. I wish somebody would have told me that the tummy tuck hurt a lot. <laughs> it's painful. When I got my tummy tuck done, it was, it was hell. It was crazy. It was crazy painful. That pain level. 10 was, or 15 out of 10 or <laughs> 100 out of 10. Would you be able to give an example of what that pain level felt like? Example, I had a C-section with my boys and it's nothing comparing to a tummy tuck. Tummy tuck is even worse. And the lipo, it's like, it's like you've been hit by a train. It hurts so bad that you feel like, yo, you just got hit by a train. The train done run over you like three or four times. Now, circumstances could be different for everyone. But any tips, any tricks, any further advice for someone thinking about cosmetic procedures? I already said it. No tips. Just do your researches. That's it. Trust your doctor. Trust yourself. Make sure that's the decision that you want for yourself. 
before you do anything. It's always yourself first. Think about you. Is that something that you really want to do? Go for it. But if you having second thoughts and stuff, you really need to reconsider because it's a big procedure. It's not something to play around with. It's your body. People lose their life over this. You know, shit happens. The doctors are not God, so don't feel like, oh, shit, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go out. There's a possibility that shit might not be right. You know, so you have to consider that. Make sure your health is straight. And if the doctor tells you not to because you're you either diabetes or whatever the case is, don't proceed. Don't try to fix stuff when the doctor is telling you that there's an issue there. If the doctor is saying no, that's because they know that they cannot proceed. I had one of my fans that did not follow what the doctor said and she passed away. So yes, I'm gonna let you know that. Make sure your health is correct. Double check that shit. Triple check it. Because it is very important that you're healthy. Because sometimes even if you're fully healthy, stuff happens. And just want to double back on two things you said previously in this conversation. The doctor that did the breast augmentation, you already mentioned this person's name. Care to share what location that person is located? Dr. Crow is in Ball Harbor, Miami, in Miami. You mentioned the BBL was done outside the United States. Care, mm -hmm. to, share, care to share what location outside the United States? Uh, Colombia. And finally, anything else you want to mention in regards to cosmetic procedures or question you weren't asked, people want to know about any of this stuff. Nope. Maybe how many times I've done my butt? Just once. And when it comes to being open, we've talked about that in another portion of questions, but in, in consideration of your body and being open and honest about all the work in this conversation, why so open about what you've had in the past? There are some people that hide this stuff. I mean, what is there to hide? If you're doing something, you need to be okay with it. You need to be proud of it. I'm cool with it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And if I could talk about it to advise others on where to go or what to do, I will always do that. I'm not gonna act like, oh no, I don't do that kind of stuff, no.